What's up, everyone? It is time for this. Oh, I always think there's going to be something at the beginning of these, but in the last few, there hasn't been anything. I think some of you maybe saw this coming. This is it. I was mulling it over for the longest time, whether I was going to do Dual Destinies or this, but guess what? Everyone said I should play this. And I'm in agreement with you, because as much as I miss Phoenix, and I really do, uh... I haven't seen my husband in forever. So this is Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations, or Ace Attorney Miles Edgeworth Investigations, or Ace Miles, Attorney Edgeworth Investigations. Either way, I think we're gonna have some fun here. Now, I've, I've heard that this um, runs completely different than any other Phoenix game that I've played so far. And I know that I've seen Tim play, like I think he did an LP of this a while back and I saw like a screen of it and it looks different. It almost looks like a kind of like side scrolling, maybe like an adventure game kind of, but I, I don't know if it's that detailed. We'll have to see. I don't know anything about this. So as usual, for most of my Phoenix right things and other blind things, uh, hints are fine as far as gameplay, but since this is going to be mostly story driven, I'm assuming nothing that will spoil the story or characters in question. Thank you very much for that, but I'm ready. I obviously know that Edgeworth is in this. I don't know who else is in it. Um, hopefully people that I recognize because a lot of the Phoenix Wright games that I played are now like years old. So hopefully I remember and don't make a fool out of myself. I don't remember when this takes place. Is it between... Uh, the second and third game? I think it's right before Apollo. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but we'll have to find out. Anyway, I'm ready to start. Turnabout visitor. Well, I know who that is in the background. <laughs> That's the one person I do know. I'm very ready. Boy, it's been a hot minute since I've done anything here. Oh, perfect. I love where we are. The void. Oh. To make sure the defendant is found guilty... What other choice do I have? I don't know who this is. That's the job of a prosecutor, after all. Mm, th th that may be true, but why? Miles wouldn't say that, would he? Why go this far? Who are these? No, neither of them are him. But that's his office, isn't it? Sorry, maybe I wasn't clear enough, but a guilty verdict is all that matters to me. What? Oh. No matter what the cost. Definitely his office, but that definitely wasn't him. Who in the heck? Because he would not wear gloves like that. Girl, those were so ten years ago. Alright, it's like an Olympic skater or something. It's fu- Yo, what the hell? I'm a prodigy among prosecutors. Always have been, always will be. You ain't no prodigy with that hairstyle, little girl. You need to talk to your hairdresser. Mm-mm. They did you dirty. March 14th, 2.05 a.m., prosecutors build it at 2 in the morning? Jesus Christ. Oh, we're not wasting any time. Edgeworth is up at 2 in the morning doing Edgeworth things. It's hard to believe that I've been away from my office for a whole month. Oh my god. He looks beautiful. <laughs> he looks so good in this game. Holy crap. This is why you guys wanted me to play this, isn't it? It's just like I fawn over him for the entirety of it. Well, guess what? Now we're in for it. I hope Detective Gumshoe's been keeping an eye on my office and keeping it clean. Gumshoe, I hope he's in this a lot too. He is, isn't he? Uh, I can't really do anything here. I think this is all scripted movement and stuff. Huh? The door's unlocked. Yeah, I hate to tell you this, but I think a murder just happened in your office. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe? Eh? What's the smell? It's very familiar. Blood? Oh dear, here we go. We're starting off well, I see. Jeez, a dark as shit in here. We're lit up, though. That's the important part. What the? What's that? Oh, that's a dead body. Okay. What's the meaning of this? You are right. Freeze. Is that the police? Who is that? That doesn't look like police to me. Who is that? Identify yourself. Yeah, who, who the hell? Shut up. <laughs> You've got some nerve committing murder in a prosecutor's office. Yeah, really? What the fu- what? Hey, hey, my jacket! Is that a threat? Is he not gonna say anything? Let me make one thing very clear. What? No one gets away with committing a murder in my office. 
no one. That's right. You tell him. Was he just gonna run away? Mm-mm. Should have tackled him or something. Who the fuck was that? Was that the dude that we saw earlier? But it didn't see his hair or anything, did we? My name is Miles Edgeworth. And I work as a prosecutor in my local district. Little did I know that upon my return home after a month abroad, I would be thrust into a multitude of cases and some very frantic and busy days. <laughs> I'll thrust you into some- No, God, I can't. We can't. God, how long is this going to be? This is going to be the whole LP. I mean, you guys are doomed. You guys asked for it, though. So technically, it's not my fault at all. March 14th, 2.56 a.m., the high prosecutor's offices, room 1202. So the police are here now. So at least, obviously, they don't think we did this. Because it's very unlikely that he would do that. I mean, they know him, right? Right, so now what? I finished photographing the victim's body, sir. Very well. Please continue your investigation. Yes, sir. All right, it's the forensics group. They're here doing some things. Yeah, look, at Edger's office. It's seen better days, hasn't it? That sucks. He usually likes to keep things very neat and tidy. Ah! It's Gumshoe! Yay! I was so excited! Mr. Edgeworth, sir! You are right, sir! Keep it down, detective. This is a crime scene. Oh, look! Look at Gumshoe, my boy! How is your face? How are you doing, buddy? When I heard the murder had taken place in your office, I ran up here straight away. Look at him. Oh, isn't he lovely? Honestly, he's looking better these days, isn't he? He's looking good in this game. This is Dick Gumshoe. He's a detective with a local precinct. And the one they assigned to handle this murder case for the time being. Yeah, but is, he's friends with you though, Edgeworth, right? So it's alright. Oh, look at him smiling. Oh, wait, not anymore. Well, they're very expressive in this. I really like it, but it's neat because we usually don't see like a lot of these kind of profiles and stuff. We usually see like the straight on and then an occasional head turn sprite and things of that nature, right? You're looking a little pale, sir. You hurt? No, I'm perfectly fine. However... Ah! Look what they did to your office. It's totally trashed. I'll say. The culprit sullied my floor with dirt rather well. No one gets away with tracking mud into my office. Whoa! Sounds like you're getting really burned up over the whole thing. This crime was committed in my office, so it is my responsibility to solve it. <laughs> That's just like you, Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, time to do some investigating. Agreed. Our first course of action is to gather relevant facts and leads. Whoa! This music! Well, it's really good. Yeah. Yo, I've got to get back into the investigative swing of things. I mean, when did we finish Apollo Justice? It was a long bit ago now. I mean, I know we've been busy with Danganronpa and, and teens murdering other teens, but this is different, right? This re These kind of games require some more finesse to them, I think. So I've got to, like, put my concentrating cap on to do this. We must not overlook anything, no matter how small, if we are to find the truth. So I'll keep any leads or information we find etched into the forefront of my mind. I noticed that we have an organizer already that we can look at. I'm assuming they're going to go through a tutorial now to tell me how to do this. Because I think a lot of things in here may work a little bit different than what we're used to in these games. Speaking of things that pique my curiosity. Why of all places did the murder occur in my office? Oh, crime scene, my office. Is it really coincidence that the murder took place in my office? Okay, maybe that's like a piece of evidence. Oh, logic. Okay. Hmm. I get the nagging feeling that this is something important to keep in mind. So, in a way, it's kind of like a piece of evidence, right? Maybe they're just presenting it different. Yeah, I was wondering that myself, sir. I, I mean, you can't really say it's just a coincidence, can you? No, not really. Especially because of this. Oh, your keys. Well, who had the keys? I'm assuming him and Gumshoe. To key to your office. The office key. For security reasons, this office door has a lock built into it. Okay, that makes sense. What do you mean, sir? If you think about it carefully and use logic, it should become clear to you. Alright. Logic? I don't know if Gumshoe is really the person we should be telling to use logic on something, but maybe he's gotten better, who knows? By finding the connection between two pieces of information. Okay. 
and connecting them, new information is born. That is the end result of using logic. So, how do you use it? First, I recall information through the logic button and then connect them together. Alright. Now, to touch the logic button and recall the facts. Oh! Okay. I'll do it. I do hope I'm not gonna need the stylus too much for this because, oh my god, my poor- this poor old DS. <laughs> the stylus area doesn't really work so good. Crime scene my office is really coincidence the murder took place. And then the office key. Connect to my thoughts. Uh, how do I do it? Do I just draw a line? Oh, oh, you can just click on them. Oh, okay, that's fine. I thought you actually had to draw a physical line. No, I think we've got it. Okay, that's fine. For security reasons, all prosecutors' doors are outfitted with locks, right? That makes sense. Which means it would have been hard for the murderer and the victim to get in here. Ergo, it's impossible to dismiss the location of this crime as mere coincidence. Hey guys, is there a way to like make the text go a little bit faster? I'm not sure because I, I'm doing the trick that I used to do in the old Phoenix games to kind of just complete it before you're done reading it. But it doesn't seem to be working. But it could also be because this is the tutorial. That it might not be working for that. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, sir. There must be a reason why someone infiltrated my room. What was the killer after? The killer's goal. Why did this happen in my office? What was the killer after? Alright. So we got that logic as well, but I don't think we have anything to piece with that yet. You're really on the ball today, Mr. Edgeworth. That's some beautiful logic, sir. <laughs> Is this whole game gonna be gumshoe kissing my butt? Because I'm totally here for it, you guys. Yes, well, when you follow leads to their conclusion, only the truth remains. However... If the information doesn't line up properly, I may stray far from the truth as well. Oh, is this him telling me that, like, if I make the wrong connections, you lose health? Okay, so we can actually lose health outside of the courtroom in this? That's interesting. But if I think carefully before piecing leads together, the logic should flow. I hope I can get this new kind of way of doing this, but I'm sure that I'll figure it out, hopefully. Well, let's get started with our investigation, shall we? Yes, sir! Begin investigation. High Prosecutor's Office. Okay. The basis of any good investigation is to examine everything, sir. I know that. And when I want to examine something, I simply touch the examine in button. Oh, okay. Oh, if you ever feel lost and want to talk, just touch the partner button, alright? Partner button? That's new. I'll give you a great precise advice as an ace, ace investigator, sir. Yeah, right. What? Ugh. Something to try later if I have free time, I suppose. Oh, no! Oh, gumshoe, get wrecked. <laughs> oh, shit, look at this! Okay, so this is definitely different. Oh, <gasps> you can! You can move around! Look, just like a point-and-click adventure! That's amazing! That's so cool! So instead of, like, f you know, moving the screen around, like, scrolling the screen around and examining things like that, we get to do this then instead. So what happens if I do click the partner button? I just want to see what happens. You called, sir? Okay, yeah, so this is kind of like when you would talk to people in the old Phoenix games, kind of. Just it's your partner, not anyone standing around. But I wonder if we are going to get to talk to people standing around. Surely we are. Is there anything you'd notice that you'd like to share, Detective Gumshoe? Just that uh, I rushed over here, and as soon as I heard there was a murder in your office, sir, the investigation's just gotten started, so I guess there ain't much else to say. So, uh, were you the one that found the body, Mr. Edgeworth? Unfortunately. Upon my return, I found my office door to be unlocked. And what awaited me inside was this whole messy affair. Why would you smile about that? Oh, God. Edgeworth's into some weird shit. That's okay, though. I'm 100% here for it. Oh, that's rough. Even though I left the security of this room to a certain detective. Oh, sorry, sir. Oh, no, look how sad he looks. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I assume you understand how to convect, uh, conduct investigations, Detective Gumshoe. I don't know why I'm having trouble reading this. Of course, sir. Examine things by tapping them or touching the examine button. By checking various things out, we gather evidence and information. You can see the evidence we collected by touching the organizer button. For information, uh, information, uh, for information and leads, it's the logic button. Oh, I see. So they're actually separate now. So we do have separate evidence. Okay. That's it. Great job, sir. Deductive reasonable is the way to go. It's called deductive reasoning, detective. Clearly, something you lack. Wow. 
Well, at least you didn't say that out loud. All right, so what's in here? Just our badge for right now. <gasps> you guys, it, it's not the same, but maybe it is. Look at this badge. Proof of my profession. However, I prefer to keep it in my pocket. All right, and there's profiles as well, but it looks like we had to get to that through the organizer, which I've got to remember. Right, so I think this was the person that was killed. So we don't know who they are. The victim in this case, why was he killed in my office? And then Gumshoe, of course. Dick Gumshoe, age 32. Homicide detective at the local precinct in charge of the initial investigation. Okay. So things are still here, just a little bit different with some new added things. So when we, when we run around here, we can do a whole bunch of things, it looks like. Like, can I just want, run to this and like, oh yeah, see the exam, well, okay, there it is. <laughs> the exam button comes up. What have we here? Could this perhaps be the murder weapon? Yeah, unless it's yours. <laughs> It's not, is it? If so, it would mean that the killer made their escape after disposing of their gun here. Which seems like the dumbest thing to do? Is it- is it just- is it just me? No? Seems a bit weird. I think I've seen one of these before. Huh. Oh, that's Gumshoe! Sorry, I thought it was the policeman for some reason because it was up there. Sorry, oh god, I'm gonna have to get used to this whole new layout. Care to enlighten me as to where? Oh, oh I know. I was issued the exact same model. Uh, I think. Ugh, detective. I don't really like guns all that much. I mean, they're really dangerous. But now that I think about it, you see this model around the precinct a lot, sir. I don't use mine much except in emergencies, so that's why I didn't recognize it. So it's the same type of revolver as the ones used by the precinct's detectives. Okay. The revolver. Found at the crime scene, it's the same model used by the precinct detectives. Okay. So wait, so that didn't go into evidence as well? So the gun isn't technically evidence, it's considered logic. That's strange, isn't it? That's alright, we'll get used to it, I'm sure. Alright, well let's go do the obvious thing. I mean, we can examine everything, right? So let's just examine everything, just like we do in a regular Phoenix game. Oh, David knocked over your chest set. I had it all set up, ready for when you got back. I figured we could play a few games. I had no idea you were interested in chess. Uh, I'm actually pretty good at checkers, so I, I thought I'd give chess a try. It's not the same! Oh, in that case, I suppose I can set some time aside after we solve the case. Though I don't expect the games to tax my mental acuity much. How do you get this... How do you get this uh, dialogue to go forward while you're reading? So do we just... What is this? Do we just examine the entire body? They finished photographing the body, so it should be alright to examine this area. Oh, we get a close-up, okay. I won't rest until I've expected every suspicious looking nook and cranny- Oh, <laughs> if I had a dollar. Wait, what? Never mind, it sounded lewd. Oh, here we go! Okay, so this is like the old school stuff, alright. So let's, uh, let's start with everything that we can find. What do we have here? Hey, I think I've seen one of these before. It's a police badge, detective. Wait. A policeman was murdered in here? And no one said anything yet? They don't know? Oh, hey! I have the exact same thing, actually! What a cool winky dink! Uh, Edgeworth! Gumshoe! Do you guys not know who this guy is? If he's a policeman or works for the police station, shouldn't people know? I guess it could be just someone that they just don't know, but still. Let's take a look inside. Mr. Buddy Faith. What a name. Jesus Christ. He is with the police department, though. He's a detective. Wait, and Gumshoe doesn't know him. I suppose there could be different branches that he wouldn't, you know, be privy to, but still. It would appear that our victim was a detective, just like you. Okay, so the victim was a detective. According to his badge and ID, Buddy Faith was a precinct detective. Right, so uh, again, that goes into logic and not evidence, which just seems weird, but we'll, we'll roll with it. I seem to have gathered a few pieces of pertinent information. Now to calmly use some logic and figure out if any of them are connected to each other. Probably. I mean, the one- can I- before I do that, can I keep examining everything? Or do I have to go do that right now? Do you know what I'm saying? Hmm. I don't know, I guess we can keep going, because I'm, I'm assuming they want me to put together the gun was a policeman's gun and he's a policeman, right? Because that seems pretty obvious. Let's see here. There's blood all over his lower abdominal area. It looks like the bullet passed clean through his stomach area, sir. Oh, shoot! It's 
gumshoe, I have to pay attention. It's so difficult to tell. In other words, he was shot. Yeah, and until the autopsy's done, I don't think we'll know much more than that. Please have the body sent to the morgue once they're done processing the crime scene. All right, there we go. So this is in the notes now. Crime scene notes. All right. You going to be okay with keeping track of the evidence we find, sir? Of course. This is the safest way I know to keep track of it all. All right, if you say so. I keep all the evidence I find in either in or with my organizer. When I want to re-examine a piece, I have but to touch the organizer button. But the organizer isn't only for evidence, I keep people's profiles on hand in it as well. Yep, we know that already. It's probably a good idea to make a habit of checking the facts often. Probably because his profile just updated. That's probably what they're going for there. Alright, uh, is this the same? Like, I don't know if this is the same. Oh yeah, no it is. Okay. Alright. Uh, what about the books? Your files are all over the floor, sir. They probably fell during the struggle between the victim and his killer. Okay, signs of a struggle. My files are a mess, pointing to a struggle between the victim and the killer. Alright. Oh, that's also a logic piece. There we go. Ah, and I tried so hard to keep this place spotless while you were away. I mean, this just rendered all the time and effort I put in pointless. I don't recall ever asking you to clean my room. Well, I watered the flowers every day like you requested, sir. I just added cleaning to the list as a weekend special. <laughs> Poor Gumshoe, bless his heart. For about half a day every Saturday, I'd come in and clean the place until it sparkled. Does he have a life? Yeah, technically you could have gotten a maid for that, eh? I'm just saying. Alright, um, okay, so I can go to logic from here. Oh, I can press L. That works better for me than pressing the screen. Right, so I think what they want us to do right now is is put together um, probably these two here, right? Victim was a detective and the revolver together. And connect those. Because there's a definite connection there. The revolver, the standard model used by detectives. Could it have belonged to our recently departed? Yeah, so he was shot with his own gun. I guess that's probably why they left it there. Because then that's not as much of a liability, although it's still stupid. Detective Gumshoe, could you please thoroughly check the victim's body one more time? Yes, sir. On it now, sir. Oh, excuse me, pal. Let's see. What we got here? Mr. Edgeworth, sir. The guy's wearing a gun holster. Hmm, so it appears that our killer somehow managed to take the victim's gun from him. That's what it means. Shot with his own gun. Alright, so that's in the evidence now. I see, so maybe what we have to do is put pieces of logic together as we go, and then those turn into the evidence we need. So maybe that's how it's gonna work. Let's see, what else we can find out about this revolver? What are we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna- oh god, they're pulling out all the stops that we did in the previous games at once! This is gonna be kind of, uh... This is gonna be complicated, is it? As I always say, you gotta look really carefully at each piece of evidence. You can use the scroll wheels to rotate an object, there's no such thing as a bad angle. So we did this a lot in Apollo Justice as well. Use the slide bar, the X and Y arrows to zoom in and out to get the nitty gritty. Let's do it. Alright. Anything good? This is where we're gonna fall into some problems because, uh... Sometimes... My touch screen doesn't want to work so good. Alright. Uh, anything? What are we actually looking for, do you reckon? Oh, well, let's look here. Oh, here we are. It looks like only one round was fired from this. Wow, so the killer killed the Vic with just one shot after wrestling the gun from him? Sounds like the guy knew how to handle a gun, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? We have no proof for now, but that is a distinct possibility. Yeah, I'd say. Disarming a police detective and getting him with his own gun. I guess this is about all we're going to find out. We should send body to auto- Jim! What the hell? Why, oh why? How could this have happened to a guy like you? The fuck is this dude? Wait a minute. Doesn't he look familiar? You alright? Don't touch me! Leave me alone! 
Just let me be! Sorry, but I can't do that. The investigation is still ongoing, so please refrain from touching the body. The body? The body? Don't talk about him like he's just some lump of flesh! Look at him. Jim looks like he's just turned in for the night. Uh, sure, just in a bloodstained suit, pal. Oh, why would you say that? It's... Wait, it's him! It is him! It's the dude that fired the gun in the cutscene! The guy who's, uh... Whose hairdresser did him ultra dirty. The guy wearing the Olympic medal. <laughs> Fuck, it's so weird. It doesn't make any sense. Where are my manners? Aren't you that prosecutor? Why, yes I am! I'm Jacques Portsman, prosecutor. Jacques! Oh no, do I have to give him a French? Uh, it doesn't sound like he's speaking French. Jim here was my partner in crime, busted. I'm Mars Edgeworth, and like you, I am also a prosecutor. Detective Dick Gumshoe, sir. So, you're Mars Edgeworth. I guess this is your office? Yes, that is correct. Then it was you! You're the one who killed Jim! Why would he be standing here amongst the police if he did that? Hey, don't go around jump to conclusions, pal. Just calm down, all right? I will not. I know how things work around here. High prosecutor's office doors all have locks built into them. And only the owner of the office has the key to his or her own office door. That is correct, however. I was not the one who killed your partner. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth has been overseas on a business trip this whole time, pal. And the key to the door was with me the entire time, okay? So the only one who could get in here was me. <laughs> Wait, that means... I I'm not sure what that means. So it was you then! You're Jim's killer! No way, pal! You got it all wrong! Everyone calm down. God, this is getting crazy already. I don't know about this dude already. And I don't like him at all already. Mr. Portsman, correct. If you are a real prosecutor, you should know to stay collected. The investigation has only just begun. Isn't it too early to be drawing conclusions? <laughs> Owned. Alright, I get the point. You're right, my mistake. I tend to get a little too hot-headed sometimes. Maybe it's that haircut of yours. I'm just saying, though. You sure are one cool customer, though, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, he is, isn't he? I've heard all the rumors about you. You're the great genius prosecutor. You're something of a legend, you know. Anyway, Let's call a truce and work together, all right? Now, how about a handshake to seal the deal? Uh-uh, not with those gloves. Hell no, don't touch him. Pleasure to work with you. Why do you say it so slow? How do I speed this dialogue up? Oh my god. You guys were conducting your investigation, right? Sorry for barging in like that. Carry on, then. It's your room, after all. Thank you. I intend to. I just want a little more time to say goodbye to Jim. You there, sir? What? Hello? Oh, secret handshake. I wonder you capture this scene on film for me. You want a... You want a picture with your dead friend? What? My final farewell to my partner, Jim. What the... That's not right. That's... No! That ain't right, though. I should probably give them some space. What the... No! No, that's not right at all. <laughs> that's... That's not okay. Alright, fine. While they're busy doing stuff, I'll look at other stuff. Like my poor jacket that fell down. I hope we can solve this case quickly. I'd like to return to relaxing on the sofa. That thing looks a billion times softer than my mattress at home. I didn't mean to look at the sofa, but I guess we're doing it. C can I sit on it too? Just for a little while, sir. Detective Gumshoe, you know I can't allow it. Until this case is solved, neither of us have time to spare, let alone rest. You're right, sir. I'm gonna work hard and be a real trooper to the end. Even once this case is over, I don't think he can afford to take any time off. Well, not if you don't let him sit down. Oh, here we go. Ah, your jacket, sir. What's it doing on the floor? It must have fallen off the wall when the killer tried to threaten me by firing around. Boy, I've really got to figure out how to move this dialogue along. So the killer not only shot the victim, but they shot your jacket as well? They dared to shoot the ultra special jacket that you made your prosecutor prosecutorial debut in? It's a weird word, isn't it? What if they had shot through it? It would have been a disaster. It's not worth getting worked up over, Detective. Not when there's something more here. Huh? Like what? The gumshoe? The there's there's a bullet. 
hole. It no. Mm. I take it you haven't noticed it yet, Detective. There is a giant contradiction right here in front of us. Yeah, the second bullet's been shot, right? So if the dude was shot with his only bullet, where'd this one come from? That's probably what he's talking about right there. Did I say contradiction? He must be rubbing off on me. I'm starting to sound like him. Haha, <laughs> you talking about Phoenix. I know you're in love with him. But I have my own methods and I will conduct this investigation my way. When the scene before me contradicts a piece of evidence or seems off, that's when my deductive skills come into play. How do you, what does he mean? First, I have to find the spot that holds the contradiction. Well, the bullet hole, of course. This is it. The bullet hole is where the contradiction lies. When I spot something that's off, I should touch the deduce button with conviction. Oh, I see. Yeah. When I found sufficient proof to prove the contradiction, I present it. To who? There's no one here. What? This is a bit weird, isn't it? This is how I do things. God, Edgeworth, no matter. You are uptight. I get it, though. I understand. This one, because it's only supposed to have... Oh my god, you said Eureka. Hold it! I was... I don't know what I was expecting, but Eureka wasn't it. <laughs> I don't... I don't know what I was expecting. This bullet hole is the contradiction. Whoa, what do you mean, sir? It's elementary. Two shots were fired in the room. The first felled the victim. And the second felled the frame. Hey, that's right. However, this gun was only fired once, so the guy must have, the killer had another gun on him at the time. Makes sense to me. Hey, that's true too. Which means that one of these two bullets was fired from a different gun. Did the killer have another gun prepared for tonight? I think so. That, I mean, what else could it mean? All right, we've got that logic then. By the way, I noticed something, sir. Yes? What's that thing sticking out from behind the frame? Ah, that. It's a secret safe. A uh, 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 secret safe? Oh, I smell money. I'll spare us the trouble and just say it. Nothing like what you're imagining is inside. I know it's in there. <laughs> it's a picture of Phoenix. That, that's what I'm going with. Now, if you could kindly move this frame out of the way. Roger that. Well, it's not so secret anymore, is it? Because all the police and that dude is probably still in the room. Talk about Dusty. I suppose that's what happens when I'm not here to dust it once in a while. I had no idea there was a safe here. I'd have kept it clean for you, sir. So, when did you put this thing in? It wasn't something I had installed personally. Every prosecutor's office has one. Really? I had no idea. Well, now they're not secret anymore. You just messed up everything. Well, only prosecutors are supposed to have knowledge of their existence. Well, because of you, you just fucked that all up, didn't you? So, what's inside, Mr. Edgeworth? Right now, nothing. Except that picture of Phoenix that I mentioned earlier. We only use them to store especially important evidence when a trial's in session. That's it? Ah, talk about squashing my hopes and dreams. Oh, the secret safe, alright. Well... I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Well, I think we're gonna have to do that in the next one. I hope you guys are very excited for these new episodes. I'm probably gonna try to keep these around 30 to 35 minutes each. I don't know how the trial system works here. We're gonna have to find out. Uh, but I think this is hopefully something that everyone was looking forward to. So I'm very happy to do this along with you guys. Let's do it together and solve the case. I hope I can do it. I think I can. I'm already starting to get the, the feel back. The old Phoenix Wright feel. But we gotta help Miles this time. And I am excited. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you soon in the next one. Toodaloo!